A special thanks to the only MG car showroom in Bandung to allow me to film this car. Information is provided down below. Hello there, this is a full in-depth tour review of the 2023 MG4 in the magnified trim showing the exterior, powertrain and interior. Here's the key fob, keyless tight. This has auto power foldable side door mirrors. As you unlock the car, the side door mirrors fold out. As you lock the car, the side door mirrors fold in. There are welcoming lights as you unlock the car. The exterior colour is grey. This comes with keyless entry as standard on all trim levels. The car is currently unlocked. To lock the car, press the button on the front door handles. To unlock the car, press this button on the front door handles, the same process. Black and light grey, there are seats with orange detailing on them. A two-spoke level-up multifunctional steering wheel. As you get inside the vehicle with the key fob in, the vehicle's in accessory mode. I must have the seatbelt on in order to control the gearbox for transmission. I think this is a single speed reduction gear. Control by this way to a gear knob. Press P for park. Make sure you have the foot on the brake. When selecting reverse, there is rear parking sensors, I think, reversing camera along with a surround view, the 360 degree cameras. This has an electric parking brake. It's currently engaged. To disengage it, put the foot on the brake and push it down. To engage it, simply pull it back up. As you flick an indicator, it brings up a view of the what's on the side view camera. Now let's take a look at the exterior. Turn on the headlights, high beams, and roll down the driver's side window. Side view cameras under the side door mirrors. For the wheels, this has 17 inch broad tone alloy rims wrapped in. Premium contact C, Continental 215.50 R17 tyres. In June last year, MG Motors unveiled the MG4, a compact or C segment hatchback based solely on the battery electric powertrain, sales of the MG4 began first in Europe the next month. Here are two facts. Number one, the MG4 was the first car to be based on Syac's new modular scalable platform, also known as the Nebula platform, tailored made for electric cars. And number two, the MG4 also known as the MG Mulan in China. The MG4 made its Indo debut last February, with sales started in June. Two trim levels are available, Ignite and Magnify, with pricing starts at 654.9 million Indo rupees at MG Andalam Bandung. The Magnify trim comes as standard with the iSmart technology pack, which I'll explain later on in the video. For the design, the MG4 brings on sportiness at all angles and is worth staring at this EV. Unlike other EVs that look monotonous, around the front there are automatic LED projector headlights along with 6 vertical fibre optic LED strips 
and vertical LED indicators. There are black side door mirrors and a black roof. For the side, the side profile looks fine. However, the rear quarter piece is blacked out instead of a window, to my disliking. Around the rear, there is a badge states this is electric and boomerang LED rear lights. Two standard items found on the magnified trim are a horizontal LED light bar extends into logo and a by wing spoiler which helps increase airflow so a rear wiper is not needed. Electric vehicles don't have to be all SUVs. They can come as a hatchback, for example, this MG4. The MG4 is made to be a world car, developed in China and also in the UK. MG did an excellent job by creating a versatile interior package without making exterior dimensions too large, so it is suitable in countries with many narrow roads, for example Indonesia. The MG4 is a seductive choice for an electric car in Indo that offers many technological features at an affordable price compared to the locally made Hyundai Ioniq 5. There had been 300 SPKs or Indo for vehicle order letters prior to sales commencing and 36 units sold last July. For powertrains, the MG4 is available globally with three electric powertrain options. The MG4 in Indonesia receives only the standard range powertrain. Powering the standard range is a single electric motor located in the front compartment. This means there is no front storage or front. The electric motor produces 168 horsepower and 250 Nm of torque. The car battery is lithium iron phosphate with a capacity of 51 kilowatts per hour in a Rubik cube shape that has a thickness of 11 centimeters and lowers the car's center of gravity for improved driving dynamics and also increased passenger space. Also, consumers can upgrade the battery with a longer range as needed. This has a vehicle to load feature with a maximum of 2300 watts. Charging time from 0 to 80% is 35 minutes on a DC charger. An electric range of 351 kilometers or 280 miles based on WLTP. And this MG4 is rear wheel drive. The front doors have hard plastic materials. At the top and bottom, loan, beige leather materials in the middle along with orange ditching for electric window controls. All the windows in this car are fully automatic in both directions up and down. Window lock, glass black materials and the door cards, central locking switch. Decent sized door pocket to the right of the steering wheel column. Manual headlight leveling adjuster switch, mirror controls. This has all the power affordable side door mirrors. Bonnet release, two pedals for the trans automatic transmission, EV transmission. The front driver's seat has full power adjustments. Recline, sliding, and seat height six way power adjustments. The steering wheel has manual tilt and telescopic adjustment. Adjust it using the lever right here. On the steering wheel, the left door is the light and indicator controls. 
automatic high beams and automatic headlights in this one. I think this is for the safety features, the adaptive cruise control, voice control. The white store is the wiper controls. These are for your audio controls and these Bluetooth XR core, this one controls the MID. These control the MID, if you press this one you can access the MID. Left and right goes between the main menus and up and down goes between the sub menus. This one is in the car menu as you can see. Trip information. Navigation, settings, media menu, tire pressure menu, and back to car menu. For infotainment, this has a 10 and a quarter inch touchscreen which contains various media. iSmart brings integrated sat nav, and sound is provided by six speakers. Below the touchscreen, the buttons here are for the volume, home, has a light switch front and rear defrost to turn on or off the AC. This is the AC menu here. Temperature, fan speed, you can use the touchscreen here, it's very fiddly to use. Different zones, on off, AC, eco, automatic mode, with circulation, the AC settings. Let's turn off the AC here, so that we drain the battery. Here's the touch screen. The sound quality sounds excellent here. I had to turn it off because I don't want to alarm the staff here and to avoid co getting copyright. This is the radio menu. FM AM modes, manual tuning, love heart station, go backwards or forwards, play pause, bring up your favourite and your station lists. This is the main menu here. AC menu. Phone menu, vehicle menu, driving tab allows to select drive modes only here, as well as energy recovery and saver modes, driving assistant tab to access all car safety features, convenience tab lighting tab and safety tab folder menu allows to view folder menu allows to view photos videos and documents settings menu for bluetooth volume onboard wi-fi access onboard user manual and others Energy management menu Radio menu Passion service menu mainly for onward assistance The call center number Lifestyle menu to access the news and lottery. Account menu. Inbox menu.
user menu like before cafe menu before I forget the sat nav menu Lastly, the weather forecast. The touchscreen is responsive and easy to navigate through. However, it can be a distraction when wanting to control the aircon. Down below, wireless charging pad. Right in front is a power outlet along with two USB inputs for the media and for charging your phone cup holders storage area which can be covered up or exposed storage net front centre armrest made out of leather with orange stitching open it up it's a deep size storage area huge storage area down below Auto dimming rear view mirror, sunglass holder storage which is padded, front reading lights, no grip handles for the front. To summarise the MG Force interior, the interior is well made. I do like the digital displays for the driver and for the main touchscreen. However, some controls can be complicated and difficult to understand like this one and this one here. The seats are very comfortable and quite supportive. On the dashboard, there is gloss white materials, a mix of hard plastic and soft touch materials. Now let's take a look at the rear seats. The rear doors have exactly the same materials as the front doors. Small size door pocket for the rear doors. High so feature I see anchor points on the rear seats. Orange detail link on the upholstery. The rear seats do fold down. Now let's check out rear seat space. For rear seat space, I'm a short person. I've got a generous amount of leg room and a generous amount of head room. I believe tall people, six footers, they might not be satisfied for rear seat head room. Front seat back pockets on both sides. USB port for charging. A bit of storage there. Flat full, no rear centre armrest, there's no grip handles in this car. Let's take a look at the boot. The boot in the MG4 is of great size. Storage area on the left hand side, storage net there. LED boot light to eliminate the area. The charging kit here. Put on the, on the right hand side. Storage area net there. Under the boot floor is the Time of kit, and I think there's batteries there.
front passenger seat has manual adjustments. Lever for the recline. And the bar, this levers for the sliding. I think this has six airbags as standard. Glove box, press this to open it up. It's illuminated of a decent size. This is the end of the video now. Like this video, comment down below, subscribe if you're interested, and don't forget to turn on the bell icon so you're alerted whenever I upload a new video in the future.